Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And on this channel we do vintage, thrifting, creative projects and more. And welcome to a Christmas in July live sale. I'm still waiting to see myself come up. Goodness, that means the leg is going to be pretty bad today because, yeah, I'm still not seeing myself. But hello, I see that there's some people here. So hello, hello. Good morning and thank you for being here. Um, oh, goodness, it's still not showing me. Wow. Okay, I need to check the volume and see how, how far back the leg is. Oh, no, it's not bad. Okay, it just wasn't showing up. Okay. I was like, oh, no, is the lag like 50 seconds? <laughs> I was like, this could be bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, hi. Hi, the baker's daughter. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> hi, Miss Pam. I was saying hi to you earlier. And oh, hi, Christy. Hi. Hi. Nice to see y'all. I'm jumping on just a tish early. Um, I will start everything at about five after. Uh, so it is coming if anyone's watching the replay and is like, why is this person just talking and talking? I like to give people a little bit of a time to get on um, because, you know, it's Saturday morning. It's kind of, it's kind of not the greatest time. Lily, you going to come here? You going to come up? She just had surgery yesterday. Come here, baby. You coming up? Mm, I don't know if she wants to. She's she's still like wobbly because she was on like had the anesthesia anesthesia anesthesia. Oh my goodness, words are gonna be hard this morning, y'all. Big big cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning. Oh, hi, Susie Gale. Good morning. I think you might be a new name to me. Welcome. Um, <laughs> hi, Carrie Ann. Hello. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, Lily is doing just great. So she's my fur baby that often makes cameos on this channel. Uh, she had to have some teeth uh, removed. Um, sometimes cats have like these lesions that they start attacking their teeth. And she had that. It's super common. It's in a lot of felines, even like lions and tigers get it, I guess. And she had it. So her body was like attacking some of her teeth. So we had to get them removed. Um, and she's doing just fine. She's just a little kind of wobbly and groggy still. And of course, she's got pain meds and stuff. So, um, <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Mayberry Cadoodles. Hello. <laughs> hello and Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas in July. <laughs> Although, y'all, I feel like I'm late doing Christmas in July. Like, this is literally July 1st. Like, the first day you could do it in July. And I feel like I am the last Christmas sale on earth. <laughs> Everything came so early this year, right? Like I was seeing Christmas in June, Christmas in May. I've seen Halloween sales. I was like, dang, like I'm, I might be missing the boat a bit. <laughs> but you know, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> um, one thing I'm pretty excited about is last year I really sourced items for my antique booth for Christmas. Um, that was where I was going to give Christmas a real, real run, real try. Um, and honestly, November and December were my worst months in my antique, antique booth, which means people just weren't gravitating towards what I had bought for Christmas. People just like, it just wasn't what they were looking for at our store, right? Because every store is different. So I just kind of learned, I was like, oh dang, like I probably don't want to do Christmas in my antique store. Um, I probably want to just keep it here on YouTube because y'all love Christmas. And so what's cool is like, this is literally two years of sourced items um, because I, it was a whole nother year sourcing for Christmas last year. So there's, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of really cool stuff. I really hope you guys think I have some like unique pieces, some things that maybe you haven't seen on other channels. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it is, it has been quite a morning. Uh, oh, I just wanted to mention for anyone who, um, follows some different people in the vintage community. Maybe if you follow the vintage bulldog, you've already heard, um, Wild Things Vintage Collective in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, had a main line break under their building. It was the city's water line. 
Um, 40 plus small vendors are in that antique mall and it is the antique mall owner's sole income. It is their life. Um, there was about 18 inches of water in some places in that antique mall. It's as devastating as it sounds. So um, the owners, they are the most wonderful couple. They are so lovely. They put their heart and soul into this place. Uh, so I am going to share their GoFundMe link. Um, if anyone's interested to check it out, um, they can use all the help they can get. I mean, the uh, Vintage Bulldog, she did kind of a, if you want to go on Instagram, she did kind of a walkthrough. And you can see the hole where the room completely raised up from the water main break. And it was actually an entire vintage Christmas room. So I just, I want to put that out there. If anyone can help, if they can. Um, it's just vintage resellers like us, and they, they're they just devastated right now. So, you know, as much has to be thrown out as you think it would have to be thrown out. So, um, ooh, who, who snuck in here? Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, JGB Diamond. Hi. <laughs> All right. Um, a couple more minutes, and then I'm going to just go through the rules for today. Um, I usually like to start about five after. It gives people time to get, like, their little notifications and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it just, it was just kind of heartbreaking seeing what had happened. And it's about to the day, their one year anniversary almost, I think, of opening that store. So, um, if anyone, if you can help, that would be great. Um, I also do have information in my community tab. So there's a post up there you can see. If you saw my shop with me for Daisy Jones and the Six, where I was looking for like 1970s clothing and and that store, that amazing store I walked through, that's the one that is completely unusable now. They don't even know if they're going to reopen in that location. So, I mean, just, it's bad. So, um, yeah, you can go to my community tab, learn more. I just posted the GoFundMe link. So, um, who else do we got? Oh, hi, Gabby. Hello. Hi, Tori. Felicia, my dear. Ugh, I miss you, Felicia. Felicia is such a busy lady, so I get it, but ugh, I miss chatting with you. You're just the funnest. I don't, is funnest even a word? Maybe not, but it's true. You are the funnest. <laughs> mm. You were. Oh my gosh, Gabby, that's true. Yeah, the last Christmas in July sale I had, Gabby was sitting on the other side of the table. She was... She was my, like, in real life audience. That's real. <laughs> that sale was way more complex, though. I had, um, I think I had four different sellers on back and forth. I think there were four people. I think Miss Pam was actually one of the sellers who's in the chat right now. Uh, it is a radon mug. Um, I tell you what, they have the, the best handles of, like, any mug out there. Radon, like, has nailed the handle game. And if you're a mug snob like me, you know what I'm talking about because it's just like, it's all about the good handle, right? I particularly like their matte finish cups better than their shiny, but I'll, I'll go either way. <laughs> oh, Rosanna, did I miss you? Hi, sorry, I totally missed you. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna run through like the rules of the sale. I'm seeing a lot of familiar names, but if you're lurking, uh, welcome. Thank you. I appreciate you for being here. Uh, Christy, I'm a mug hoarder too. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so we're going to go through the rules of the sale. So today in the sale, all items are offer up. And what that just means is we're going to do a starting bid and then you offer your best offer. So I will say this item starts at five. You say five. Someone might say six. And we just, we go and tell people kind of slow down. Um, also, if you're the only bidder, we're going to move this sale along, okay? Because it's just me. It's just me running this. So I'm going to keep it moving, okay? Um, and that's how we do it. Also, if you haven't sent me your information, many of you have. 
This is my website right here. It gets a little confusing for people. I also have it pinned in the top of the comment section up here, but this is my website. There is a contact form on this website and it'll tell you everything you need to send me if you are a new uh, buyer from me. And if you are, that is great, so welcome. Uh, so I will need your YouTube name, your real name, your full address, full address please, not just the zip because I do use Pirate Ship and then a PayPal email for checkout. And if you don't have PayPal, it isn't a problem. You can still check out as a guest with a credit card. Um, I ship from Minnesota, so I live pretty centrally in the United States, which is nice. I feel like my shipping rates aren't too horrible everywhere because I am kind of in the center. And I do use Pirate Ship, which does give you really good discounted rates. And I charge you the charge that I get for shipping. And it all depends on the size of your box, the weight, where you live, things like that. I don't charge any fees for my packaging materials or any other thing like that. Literally what's on the label, you get charged. And sometimes I'm a little too nice and sometimes I bump people up to priority just because. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I do. Oh, hi, Shauna. Katie, my dear, I love you so much. Hi, Katie. I haven't talked to you all week. It's been a busy week. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, I'm trying to think. Do I need to say anything else about this sale? It obviously is a Christmas and July sale, so a lot and a lot of Christmas. The price points, I believe, are from $5 up to $40, I think, today. So there's a full range for all sorts of different people. Oh, oh, oh I do have one extra thing. Um, I have a bunch of giveaways. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six giveaways today. I don't know. I just kind of want to have fun today. Um, you know, I just, I, I, to be truthful, I've been under the weather for a little bit. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to have fun. So there are going to be six giveaways in the sale and they are completely free. You do not have to buy anything to be in a giveaway from me, okay? Um, it is not a raffle. You don't have to purchase something to be raffled. Um, so, and, and that's just kind of, everybody does it different, but I really want to honor the lurkers. Um, y'all, y'all make my channel go. So I appreciate you. And I know not everyone can pick up something. So um, I thought maybe bring some cool stuff that you could win anyways. And you don't have to pay for shipping. I will pay for that. Um, I will need your uh, contact info, though, if I haven't ever shipped you anything and you win a giveaway. If you win a giveaway and you did buy something, I'll just put it in your box. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of giveaways because I just thought it'd be fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think we are going to get started. Oh, hello, Warren. Are you snuck in there? I missed you. It's nice to see you, my friend. Good morning. Um, I think we are going to start with a giveaway. Um, and like I said, giveaways are open to everyone. Okay. So please, please, if you're a lurker, that means you, you can enter as well. Um, and the first giveaway we're going to do, we're going to do a fun little craft book. And it does have a kid's name on it. <laughs> um, Anne Halgren, this was her book. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find a copyright on this. 1969. So it's, it's the kind of Christmas projects you would think are in this book. Let's see if I can find a really kitschy one to show you. Oh, this is good. Look at all these different trees. Kind of different ideas to make Christmas trees. Let's see. Where is like the angel? Oh, there she is. There she is. It also just has some good illustrations, right? Like, it's just kind of cute. If you do, like, crafting and scrapbooking, there are some cute illustrations in here. So it's a whole crafting book, all kinds of pages. Um, I love these type of things. I love to see what pe people, like, made then. Little popsicle stick angels. <laughs> I've had some of those, too. <laughs> Um, and if you are interested in the cr Christmas crafting book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you enter a word in the chat and then I'm going to count down to a number I have pre-selected and that'll be the winner. 
So if you're, in, if you're interested in the book, please enter the word craft in the chat. Please enter the word craft in the chat. And then um, I will count and see who wins. So it's just a cute book from 1969. Um, all kinds of fun little things in here. I love the card holder ideas. It's got some good stuff in here. I don't know if you've seen any of my ephemera shares, but I've I've shared some of these like craft books. Look at all these like spun head ideas. Really fun. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna pick lucky number seven, and I'm just gonna put stop in the chat right now. And you have to trust me because my seven will not look like your seven. So um, I am just going to count and see what I see on my end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I have Connie Torres. Connie, you have won this book. Now, I think you're a new name to me, so I do need to hear from you. Uh, so right here is my website. And if you go to the contact form on there, uh, it tells you everything I need. So I'll need your YouTube name, your real name if they're different, full address, please. And give me an email so I can send you tracking on this. There's no charge. I pay for shipping, I pay for everything. So congratulations, Connie, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I totally didn't bring my other basket over here. Look at me not being prepared. Um, I thought I was like all prepared this morning. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Let's start with Christmas brooches. Um, something small. Uh, I have two cute Christmas brooches and we're going to do them as choice. And one is actually an original packaging, which is kind of fun. So we have two cute Christmas brooches. I'll do better at showing them. I know it's hard to see. Okay. One is a poinsettia. And it does have some wear on the enamel, so please know that. It's hard to show the wear on the enamel because, you know, it's enamel and it shines. But it does have some wear on the enamel. Please just know that. On this top leaf, there is some wear on it. You can kind of see it, but it is hard to show. No missing stones on this, and it is marked art on the back. And do I have even my measuring tape? Y'all, I am slipping this morning. Do I, do I not have my measuring tape? I am so sorry. I Apparently I wasn't as prepared as I thought. I'll, I'll get the measuring tape a little later, but I would say this is about an inch and a half. So here's what it looks like on the shirt. And then the next one is um, candlesticks. No missing stones on this one either. And it's in its original Woolworth packaging. Um, and it would be $2.21 at Woolworths. And I'll show you this close up. See how it's cute little little candles? It's going to be a little hard, though, to show you this one because it's in packaging. But it's cute little candles. Um, this one, I would say it's about the same height. But it is. It's in the original packaging, which I just think is kind of fun. Um, it, Yeah, it's almost the same height as the poinsettia, just a little bit taller. But yeah, it's candles. And they have big stones on the top. And then red stones for the berries, and it's gold. It is not marked on the back, but it's kind of fun that it's still in its original Woolworth packaging. And I'm not seeing any interest on this, so we are going to pass. <laughs> oh, really? Your mom had one? That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So let's see, what should I do next then? Let's just go for something really good. Let's go for um do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just give me give me a second, y'all. I, I am running my own spreadsheets on the back end. So it does kind of take me a little bit longer when I do that. Um, especially since I can't find the little do you ever notice how like when you close a document, like you can't see all the toolbar pieces? Um, let's see. So I want that one as a pass. And then let's do, let's do a rubber face Santa. Let's do that. I got to find him though. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Well, we're going to have to type in rubber because I can't find him on the spreadsheet. There he is. Okay. And we're going to start him. Oh, I see you, Christy. I see you after uh, the pass. Which one would you like, my dear? Would you like the poinsettia or would you like the candle? Well, it's like a double candle, actually. <laughs> they're they're pretty though. I wish I kind of want to take them out of the packaging, but I also kind of don't because it's kind of fun, right? All right, candlesticks. I see you. All right, we will put you down for candlesticks. All right, that's a cool one. It's a little different, right? You usually see like the poinsettias or the um the uh like the Christmas trees, which I'm wearing a Christmas tree. And All right, got you down. Let's see. Let's do the rubber face Santa, and we are going to start at 16 on him. Now, as far as I know, he is not any of the kind of like famous brands everybody looks for. Um, I think he's just generic. However, he's very Harold Gale-esque in the fact that his hands don't really exist under these gloves and he has the the white rubber boots so he's very similar to harold gale i'll just kind of show you this guy he's in pretty darn good condition though only thing is his beard is disconnecting here i decided not to reconnect that i will let the next person do what they want but he's in pretty darn good condition he's got his little bell he's got his little bag I think in his bag, is there a tag maybe? There might be a little tag in the bag, but I don't want to, I don't want to do anything to him. Um, he is this tall. I cannot believe I don't have my measuring tape. Y'all, total fail. I'm actually going to get it right now. You deserve to know how tall the Santa. So, excuse me. And I will be off camera a lot in this sale. And it's just because this sale has a lot of bigger items. And I do need to like move around to get to them. So I don't typically, I don't typically like to be off camera um, and just let me stare at nothing. But um, yeah. <laughs> All right. This little guy is 14 inches tall. He is 14 inches tall. And I see you, Susan. <laughs> He's super cute, but yeah, really good condition. Um, nothing majorly wrong with him except for the uh, beard situation. Little wear on the paint and such, as you can see, but I mean, pretty dang good condition. I did get this from a Harold Gale collector. Um, so I do kind of wonder if it possibly is a Harold Gale style I'm not familiar with, but I'm not gonna like make that claim because I don't actually know. So we are gonna count this down. Um, if y'all wanna get in on the Santa, this is the only rubber face Santa today. Um, and if not, Susan, you're gonna get a steal of a deal because this is a good deal on him. All right, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. He is darling. He is super duper darling. <laughs> All right, Susan, you got one heck of a deal on this guy. All right, Susan. And then Susan, I'm pretty sure you've bought for me before, but if I'm wrong, contact me through my website, but I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. He's cute. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I love Santas too. I decorate with them. Um, that's like how I decorate for Christmas. Uh, so last year, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but I bought like a whole like big giant lot of Santas last year. Does anyone remember that? I bought like six Harold Gale Santas, all these other ones, like, you know, so <laughs> yeah, Santas are how I decorate for Christmas. Um, I remember somebody was telling me that like, that's not the true meaning of Christmas, but because I'm a gift giver, that's my love language. Um, giving people the gifts shows them I love them. Uh, so for me, Santa is the reason for the season because I'm showing people I love them. 
So <laughs> I love Santa. Let's do, let's do, <laughs> let's do, gosh, I'm kind of torn. I don't know what I should bring. Um, let's do the carolers and see. I'm going to find them. There we go. Oh, we're going to do a choice um, between carolers or a planter, and we are going to start at 12. And the first choice that you get are a set of three carolers, okay? No chips, no cracks on these. They do have their kind of like sticker residue on the back. I just haven't tried to remove it. And they do have made in Taiwan stickers. Um, and then here is the third guy. He has a little, little sweet little um, uh, accordion. And he has some sticker wear on the back. Super cute little set. And let me show each a little better. Now these are made of like that composite material. They are not ceramic. They are the composite material. And sticker as well. Oh, no, it says Japan. Sorry, I think I said made in Taiwan. It's not. It's Japan. It's made in Japan. Super cute. And these measure four inches tall. And then the next choice with that is a planter that I somehow didn't realize I was doing choice on because it's on the other side of the room. Um, and it is this adorable little Christmas tree planter, but the tree is red, which is kind of different. And I like that because I think red sometimes pops way more than green does against backgrounds. Now it does have numbers on the bottom, no chips or cracks on this, but I'm not sure who makes it. I kind of think it's Napco, but I don't actually know. Um, so this measures seven inches tall. So that is your other choice. You get this cute planter, but I, and I know why I did these in choice now that I remember is because you, you put them together. Do you know what I mean? Like how few of these carolers look next to the tree. <laughs> I thought, oh, that would be, you know, that'd be so cute if someone wanted to do all of them, right? Like they're just like the right proportions. Now I remember, um, you know, it's, it's a morning, right? <laughs> But I just, yeah, I thought they were super cute. This is ceramic, no chips, no cracks. And then these are like that composite material. So you you know what I'm talking about. They make banks out of that composite material. It's like a paper pulp type situation. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're really cute. And I, I love the caroler motif for some reason. I don't know. It kind of warms my heart. I think it reminds me of my grandma. Um, she loves singing carols and Christmas songs. And here, we'll give you a better close-up on this. It's really fun. It's a really fun piece. No chips, no cracks. And we are going to count this down. And this is for choice between the carolers. I feel like every way I'm holding them, I look like I'm choking them. Um, <laughs> choice of a lot of three carolers and a cute little Christmas planner. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. With the little sweeties. <laughs> they're, they're ready to sing a carol to you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I love the caroler motif so much, but I really do. I really like it. All right, what do we got? Gabby, I see you before the bid end. What choice would you like, my dear? I have a tiny sleigh that matches that tree. Oh, wow, there's a tiny sleigh. Oh, that is so cute. That's so neat. <laughs> you want the tree. Got you for the tree. And then, um, <laughs> Mm 
Okay, and then let's see, gotta go back and see who else we got here. And then Lynn at 15, would you be interested in our sweet three, three little carolers here? Or these little guys, they're about four inches tall. That is a super cute tree, I agree. And it's different, like I said. Um, all right, Lynn, those are yours. Thank you so much. And Lynn, you might be new to me too, maybe. Maybe not, but you might be new. So just welcome. Oh my gosh, thank you for being here. I super appreciate it. <laughs> and then be sure to send your info um, via my website. So this isn't an email, it's a website. And the page actually tells you exactly what I need. Um, if you haven't purchased from me before, but um, if, if you have, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not sure. I think you might be new, so welcome. <laughs> um, yay, I'm glad you guys like that. Lynn. Oh, yay, it is your first time. Yay. I can usually, like, remember, but every once in a while, like, I feel like I'm insulting someone being like, welcome, you're new. And they're like, I've been here two years. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and also sometimes people change their names. And even if it's like a really small change and they think it's like no big deal, I still don't know. I'm still like, who, wait, what? You're, some, you're the same person? Like, I, I won't know. Um, Let's do, should we do another tree? Should we do another, I don't know. I'm in a tree mood. I feel like we should do another tree um, because I have um, hopefully a tree that you all think is just different. Um, I have a gold tinsel tree kind of thing. Um, and we're gonna start that at 16. And it's just different and it's neat and it's a great size and I hope someone loves it. So, it is this gold tinsel tree. Can you hear it? It's metal flakes, okay? The top is a mercury bead and the bottom is like styrofoam. It's super light, okay? And the whole thing is like these tinselly strips. Now on the top it has more bending on the strips than anywhere else, but it's still pretty darn good shape all the way down. I wouldn't say there's any like major damage. If you don't like that some of these strips are maybe bent a little bit, you can like cut them and it would be just fine. Like here, you could just cut them. But yeah, it's a really just kind of neat piece and it's a neat size. So this measures 15 inches tall. So it's just a different size, right? It's just kind of a neat size for display. Um, usually the trees are either way smaller or way bigger. So it's kind of cool that this one's like over a foot. But yeah, it's just, it's different. And again, it's a different color. So it's not a green tree. But yeah, you can hear it. You can hear what that's made of. It's like that metal tinselly, <laughs> tinselly noise. And let's see, it looks like my chat just stopped. I'm not seeing anyone. We'll give it a hot second and we'll see. Can anyone type in the chat so I just know it isn't froze? Because on my end, it is frozen. Oh, dang, if it is frozen. Oh, nope, I see you. Okay, I see Lynn. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see them. They're com They're all coming in now. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, uh-oh, if the chat's frozen, I can't do the sale. <laughs> so 15 inches tall, all tinsel, styrofoam base, and a mercury glass bead on top. Really different piece, really fun. But I am not seeing any interest. So I think I'm gonna have to pass on this one. There's no interest in our tinsely tree. <laughs> All right. 
I'm going to pass on that one. Let's see. I got to be smart where I put stuff because it's going to get overwhelming quick because there is a lot here. Let's do some art and some mercury glass beads, I think. And then, then maybe we'll get into some angels. I, so I did the preview of the sale and I, you know, I thought everything was good and I was all ready to go. And then I realized I didn't have any art in the sale, like not one piece. And I, I am, <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Brenda. Oh, and tell them hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> um, I, um, I realized I didn't have any art in the sale, which is basically blasphemy because I love art. And so we're going to do some Coca-Cola. Um, we're going to do some Coca-Cola ads as art. And this um, is not from that Coca-Cola lot you saw me uh, do the whole thing with. This is actually a different purchase. So these, we're going to do choice. And we're going to start at five, okay? And we got two Coca-Cola Christmas ads. These are original, taken right out of the magazines. And one does have the Sprite Boy, okay? And they're in great condition. They have been well taken care of by the collector. <coughs> and let's get into... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Choking on nothing over here. It's fine. Um, let's get you some measurements. I believe these are 7 by 10. Katie would know right off the top of her head. I don't remember. Yep, 7 by 10. So this is 7 by 10. And this is the first one. It's got the cute little kiddo and Santa. And I probably can find a date on this. Let's see if I can check the back and see what we got. Nope, no date on this. Uh, but the back is like an ad for Honolulu. This feels very like 50s to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe there is a date. There's a date. 1938. Just kidding. It's way earlier than I thought. This is 1938. So yeah, this was taken right out of a magazine. So this one is 1938. And then this one is cool because it has the Sprite Boy. Now this is copyright 1949. I can see that on this one. This one did not have a copyright date. And this just one, this one's a little bit more magical, right? Really fun with the reindeer. And these look so cool if you like frame them up and put them out for the holidays. One of like my hacks for holiday decorating is to like frame postcards, frame wrapping paper, frame all kinds of stuff that's like holiday theme ephemera and put it in your display. And like instantly you went from like, and I, I know some people may not want to do this, but it's like whatever you had in that frame before, you can take the holiday stuff out later and have that frame used again, like whatever photo was there before. But during the holidays, that frame can become something festive. And I think that is so fun. I see you, Gail and Maggie. Thank you so much for your bids on these. And you'll need to, um, Maggie is at six, I see. Thank you. And I think, Maggie, you might be a new name to me too. Now, just so you know, these are ads, okay? So the instant gut reaction is like, oh, this is ephemera, it will go media mail. It will not. So just, I mean, it's still gonna be very cheap, very cheap and affordable shipping, but it does not go media mail. So um, you can't put ads in media mail. <laughs> um, and we're gonna count this down. So if anyone else wants to get into it, you gotta, you gotta put your bids in now. Um, I will have more Coca-Cola ads for sale at some point. I bought a big lot. If you didn't see that video, that video is, um, it is posted. It's alive with our friend Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. And we go through a bunch of Coca-Cola stuff. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. 
on these awesome Coca-Cola ads. These would also look very cute. Um, these would also look very cute together. Um, you know, you could frame both of them and put them up. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so I see Gail at seven for first choice. So you could say you could say Sprite Boy because that's that little guy, or you could say Kiddo of which one you want, or you could take both at that price, absolutely. And then Maggie, you will be back up. So thank you for popping in, Maggie. <laughs> but yeah, these are really really fun. And then here's this one again. Katie can actually tell which decade it is based on what is in the ads. Katie can actually, like, she knows the slogans. And I think that's just so cool. Okay, so Gail takes Sprite Boy. Maggie, would you be interested in this one for six with the little kid? This is the one from 1938. This one's really cute. Really cute. <laughs> All right, we'll write you down, Gail. Let's see. Yes, please. All right. And yeah, Maggie, if you are new to me, I just need you to go to my website here. So this is a website and not an email. And on my contact page, there's a whole form. It tells you exactly what I need from you. So, and then I can ship you your adorable ad from 1938. Can you believe, like, when you think about how old that ad is, like, that ad is, what, over 80 years old or something like that? Isn't that wild? Like, and it just looks like it was printed yesterday. <laughs> and then, let's see. And let's see. Six, and that is Maggie V. Welcome. I this is so exciting. I love seeing um, new faces, you guys. Thank you so much. That's just I don't know. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, I, especially since like I've slowed down with how many videos I have been doing. Um, honestly, I'm just so busy with work, and my health hasn't been super great. Uh, so it's just like it's there's less ways to find me, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's do a giveaway and then we're going to do mercury beads. I got lots of them. I got some hard to find colors. Okay. Let's do a giveaway. So I'm thinking let's do, let's do this cute little Santa mug as a giveaway. Now this is one of the smaller ones. So this is more like a display size. <laughs> oh, wow. You have one of those Sprite Boy heads. I have only seen a reproduction. I have not seen like a real one. Um, it was actually in one of my recent videos. I picked one up and it was a reproduction. I was like, oh, I was totally fooled. <laughs> but let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway of this cute little Santa mug. Now he does have some paint wear and such. But, you know, he's a giveaway. Kind of dirty inside. Little sweetie. No, like, actual chips or cracks. But, um, yeah, cute little Santa mug. And he's the little one. He's the little size. So these are kind of fun if you do, like, some stacking stuff with Santa mugs. Um, and the giveaway is open to everybody. This is a free item. So, lurkers, I'm calling on you. And just so you know, you do have to be subscribed to my channel uh, to type in the comments. Uh, I just do that to avoid bots and trolls. Uh, so if, if you're like, I can't type, I don't know. You do have to subscribe. It's not like a trick. It's just literally to keep bots out of the chat. Um, and then on the next giveaway, you can enter. If you're like, why can't I type? That, that would be why. Um, so if you are interested in this little cup, type in the word cup and I'm going to pick the winner. So type in the word cup to be entered for this cute little dude. He's cute. He's, he's got a good face, you know? Did I not sound like the most Minnesota woman ever right there when I said, you know, did it, didn't I? Didn't I? I'm officially converted, y'all. I am no longer a Floridian and I'm full blown Minnesotan. I say, don't you know? <laughs> but yeah, his cold paint's still on. He's in good, pretty darn good condition. 
All right, and I am gonna pick the fifth one. And let me um, put a stop in. And you gotta trust me on this because my order will be different than your order. One, two, three. Oh, morning, Misty. I missed you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Karen Chasen Vintage. You're always chasing that vintage. You won. <laughs> that cup is all yours. Um, let me, let's see. Santa cup. I don't see where I wrote down. So congratulations. <laughs> and Karen Jason Vintage. Alrighty. We got you written down. Okay, now we are going to do the mercury bead stuff. So what ended up happening is I bought just a big giant lot of mercury beads. So I have a lot of them, okay? So I'm sorry if you're not interested in the mercury beads. There's going to be like three rounds of this because there's just so many. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry if that's boring to you. Um, but I think we're just going to crank out the mercury beads right now because, you know, we're in them. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to first do um, our choice lots, okay? So these are all pretty equivalent. And these are silver strands of mercury beads, okay? And let's see. And I got these at a great price. So I am going to do it at a great price. And we are going to um, start at $8 choice, okay? So in these bags, okay, each of them has five strands of silver mercury beads, and each strand is 18 to 24 inches, okay? And then each of these bags has an extra strand that is not in such great condition, okay? And so my thought was five strands, 18 to 24 inches, and then when you have like broken beads and such, there is that extra strand in there where you can replace broken beads, okay? So each of these bags is the same thing. Five strands, they're all 18 to 24 inches in the bags. And then you get an extra strand that is just a little more wear than the rest. Now there is some color flaking on these. There are damaged beads, but the five strands that I counted from the 18 to 24 were in pretty darn good condition. The extra strand I threw in were the ones that weren't in as good a condition. And so this is for choice on the mercury beads. Um, honestly, I've never found mercury beads at a price I could even bring them. Oh, thank you for your bids, everyone. I appreciate it. And so it was really fun to just find them. And yes, I have one big bag coming and green and pink is coming as well. Thank you for your bids, everyone. And we are going to count this down, okay? So we're going to go 10... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Thank you for all the bids, everyone. I truly appreciate it. This is definitely something I don't come across where I'm at. So thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got. All right, Miss Pam, I see you at 27 for choice. You can take one, two, or three bags. Each bag has five strands of 18 to 24 inches plus one extra strand that is not in the greatest condition. It, it'll be about 18 to 24 inches, that extra one as well, but it's just not in good condition. <laughs> Man, I'm having such a lag today, you guys. It's it's real. I've, I've heard some sales where people have been saying the lag is really bad, but I'm experiencing it now. So one bag. Okay, I will pick for you, absolutely. And then, let's see. And then the next bag, let's see who's the next bit. Uh, Karen for 25. 
Would you like one or two? All right, Karen gets one at 25. Thank you, thank you. And then let's see who was next. Let's see, there's two 22s. One second. Lynn, you had the first 22 on my end. Lynn Tankersley, you had the first 22 on my end. Would you like the last bag? There's more beads, Miss Pam. So I have some more, so. Yes, please. All right. Those are yours. Thank you, everybody, for the bids on that. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I sometimes, like, it just feels good to know that people, like, liked what you found. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, like, kind of experimental, so I kind of bring stuff that is a little all over the board. Um, and so sometimes people are like, no. <laughs> okay, so this is a big bag okay this is a big bag and i'll tell you what um is in this one and again i am starting these low because i had i got a good deal on them and uh oh fat birds i didn't say hi to you i'm sorry you snuck in here i think sometimes i get paying attention to what i'm doing and i don't say hi to people in the chat i'm sorry <laughs> so this is going to be a big bag and i'm going to tell you what's in this and we're going to start it at 12 okay so in this bag, you get two long strands that are all tied up. So whoever was decorating with these were, was making like cluster pom-poms of these. I, I don't know how else to explain it. It was like a cluster and I don't know the length on them. I'm guessing pretty large, but there's two strands that are just tied up in a cluster pom-pom. I should actually, actually, I'm gonna show you. I wanna show you that because it can be pulled apart, absolutely. I think the person did that. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't show you. No, I'm not gonna attempt. Okay, there's two, all right. Two longs that are clustered up. There are three strands that are 18 inches plus. There are five fixer upper strands in here that are just where stuff is happening. And there is one six foot strand and there are extra beads. So that is two long strands that are tied together in like a cluster. Somebody was making kind of like a, I don't know how to say it. They were just making like a cluster for decoration. Um, three strands that are 18 inches plus, five fixer upper strands, and one six foot strand plus extra beads. And these do have the stars on the ends. So you've got the stars on the ends on these. So there's quite a bit in here. There is quite a bit in here. The strands do have wear. There are broken beads and such, but I figured if I give you extra beads plus the fixer uppers, you can probably kind of like, these are silver. These are silver. They're all silver. Whole bag matches. Now the, the beads do vary in size as far as like the radius of the bead. Some are slightly smaller and some are slightly bigger. But I don't know if I would say they're like different size strands, if that makes sense. I think it's just variation with like mercury glass. I think they're just not always exactly the same. But I have noticed that some are a little bit smaller and some are a little bit bigger. But I don't think like this is a different size than this one. I think it's just variation. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for your bids on these. And we, it is perfect for crafting. That's exactly what I thought these were for. So we are going to count them down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I mean, there's, there's like over 20 feet in here. There's a lot in here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> all right let's see okay so the first 
20 that I see, the, the 22 and 21 came after the bid end, okay? Uh, the first 20 I see is the Kitschy Corner. So congratulations, these are yours. So the Kitschy Corner. <laughs> oh, I hope you do so much fun stuff with that. All right. All right, next we're doing a big bag of like chartreuse green, okay? So this one is going to start at 14. And this is like neon chartreuse green. Now there is breaks in these and, you know, it's in vintage condition. I'll let you look at it. It is what it is. But in this bag, there are nine strands and they're 18 to 24 inches each strand. Okay. Nine strands, 18 to 24 inches each strand. And this is, it's showing true to color on screen. That is what that is. That is a bright, vibrant green. It's actually really cool. It's actually a really cool color. <laughs> um, and it, again, it has the, um, it has the stars on the end. You can kind of see one of them right there it's got the star right there it's got the stars on the ends but there are some breaks in here but all the strands were in fairly good condition it does have some peeling of color you know how mercury glass beads are you know the vintage condition they're in but like there's a lot in here so they're quite a lot isn't it neat katie i like this color i think it's really neat and honestly i have pink coming up they'll be next and i think together they're like Florida happiness, <laughs> right? Like, don't you just want to like decorate your tiki bar? <laughs> oh, thank you for your bids, everyone. Oh, welcome, Lori. Hello. I think I missed you. Um, all right, we're going to count them down. Okay. So again, this is nine strands, 18 to 24 inches each strand. <coughs> it does have vintage wear. There are some broken beads, but you can still do the math on that of how long this is. There's a lot in here. So uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. It is a perfect combo. It's, it is. It's very like tropical, tutti frutti. Um, the golden girls decorated their house this way type thing. <laughs> All right. So on my end, kitschy corner, I see your 30 after the bid end and Colleen cookies for vintage. You have won this for 27. So congratulations. Thank you for your bids, everybody on that. I'm glad you like those. And then the pink bag, okay? Now, the one difference with the pink bag compared to the other ones is where the pink is coming off, you can see it more clearly because this is like a flashed color on the beads. And so I did try to show the ones where it was coming off. I tried to put them close to the bag so you could see, okay? So there's, you can see when the pink comes off, it's easier to see on this, okay? And this is an eight foot single strand, okay? It's got the stars on the ends. It is an eight foot single strand. Um, in vintage condition, I do believe there's maybe a broken one in there, but really what it is, is if, if the pink is coming off, you can see the silver. And you can see the condition in the bag. I'm I'll show you all of them nice and close up so you can see. And this is, let's see, this is eight feet. So one single strand where the other ones were like 18 to 24 inch single strands. This is like a solid strand of pink. which is pretty cool. But yeah, the, the one condition issue with this one is where the pink comes off in this one, you can really see it. But honestly, what I would do is I think there's probably four beads on here that need attention. 
if I couldn't cr get crafty enough to cover the pink, I would probably take them off. Um, but honestly, I think, I think everybody in this chat has like crafty or craftiness or crafty potential, whatever. Um, and I think you can cover that. I think you can, and it wouldn't be noticeable. Even if the paint wasn't like a perfect match, as long as it wasn't the silver, I think it would be great. But yeah, this is one of the longer strands at just eight feet for a single strand. And I, I know other people have sold pink before, but I, I like pink, I think it's cute. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. I truly appreciate it. And oh my gosh, thank you for everyone who's here. There is 55 people here. Dang, y'all. Thank you. It's like Saturday morning on a holiday weekend. You don't know how much I appreciate that, you know? Um, I don't do regular sales. I do them when I have capacity. And so I, I you know, I'm always just amazed when there's people here. So thank you. Uh, so we're going to count these down, okay? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end on 8 feet of neon pink mercuries. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Gabby. I appreciate it. All right, let's see what we got. I see Bridget, the baker's daughter, year 35, came before the bid end, so congratulations. She was like, I'm not risking losing him by a dollar. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I do that too, though. If y'all ever see me like bid in chats, I, I tend to jump the bid because I don't want somebody just scooping me by like a dollar. <laughs> So thank you. I appreciate it. All right, that is it for the mercury beads. There is going to be some ornaments that are mercury glass. Um, and there's even like an ornament that has mercury glass beads in it, but that is all for the mercury beads that I have in this sale. So that is it. Um, I'm inclined to do two really nice angels right now, y'all. So we're going to do the whole powered angel and then we're going to do the tree star topper that is in mint and box. Okay. So we're going to do the whole powered fe feather angel next. And this one is going to start higher. Hi sawdust. Welcome. Um, then like I typically start, but because this one, if I put it on eBay, it would just go for 70 instantly It would and it would sell. Um, it is going to start a little higher. Uh, so we are going to start the angel at 30. I'm going to go grab it. And she is, she is the white feather angel by Colt Howard. So this one, she has that cute little full powered face and she's got the white feathers. Her wings are in pretty good condition. I don't see any snags on the wings. Her face is in good condition. Here's her little, she has like a harp and little chenille um, arms. One arm is holding the harp. And I do think one of the strings might be a little detached on the harp. It's paper. The harp is just paper. And then the other chenille arm isn't holding it. Okay. She has the cute little full powered face with the little brettes. Now on the bottom, she's like this, but I do have the whole towered bottom. It's just loose. Okay. So there is the whole towered. It goes in there. I'm not going to force it because as you can see, this is a cardboard feather fragile situation <laughs> but it does have the whole powered sticker and this just it just goes in there um, and what I think is the person used it as a tree topper so they didn't they they loosened this you know and then this measures uh, nine inches tall 
she nine inches tall. I know, isn't she fabulous? Literally, I was just like, the only thing that would make her better is if I found the pink one. That would be the only thing that would make her better is if I found the pink one. But this one is just, is really good too. So thank you for your bids, everyone. And like, let's just look one more time. Her wings are doing pretty good, good condition. Her face, pretty darn good condition. Uh, you know, I definitely kids did not play with this one because it's so fragile. It's it's in good condition. She has her little harp, which is just paper. She's covered in feathers, which is just like the most kitschy, ridiculous thing ever. And then she does have her stopper. It says hold Howard. And it's constantly losing feathers. So if you <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you'll, th there's little feathers everywhere. Um, <laughs> all right, let's count it down. Yeah. Isn't she a fun find, Miss Pam? All right, let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Thank you for the bids. I truly appreciate it, y'all. I really do. Um, I, I felt bad starting it high. I just was like, Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it just, it, it would sell fast on eBay. So it is what it is, right? And you're still going to pay less, almost half of what it goes for on eBay. Because I know you come to my channel for deals, so I still want to do that. She does have such a good face. That's true. Ooh, we got a lot of action at the end. Okay. Oh, okay. So Carrie, you did get in before the bid end, but Gabby put in 44. And let's just make sure there isn't any higher bids above. Nope. Gabby, she is yours for 44. And that's a really good deal. So congratulations. She's heckin' cool. Um, I like her. I like her a lot. Congratulations, and thank you everybody for your interest. Next, we're gonna do another killer angel, so get ready. This is, this is a good one, a really good one. And it's in box, which is like, oh God, I'm gonna have feathers all over me forever. It just it never goes away. I don't know what I, what I prefer, cat hair, glitter, or feathers. <laughs> they all just are always there. <laughs> all right, so, Let's see. And after this, we'll do a giveaway. Okay. How about that? After this, we'll do a giveaway. <laughs> um, topper. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we are going to do a Miro star new inbox angel tree topper, and we're going to start it at 18. I am going to take it out to show it. Um, it doesn't like, I, uh, the box is open. Like you can get it open. I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking out like a mint and package thing. So here it is. This is an illuminated tree star with angel. And it is Miro star. Okay. There is no, um, there is no, um, copyright date, copyright date. So I just, I'm not sure. The back of this box is pretty darn plain. Everything else is just plain. The front is basically your money shot of that. And I'll give you the measurements of this too. Yeah. Trying to be so careful, you know, you just, some of these things are just so, so fragile. So here is your little sweetie on the star. She's holding a poinsettia. Her wings look terrific. Her dress is made of the wing material. It looks terrific. Her dress has um, mercury beads on it as well. The star is brightly and reflective and it does have its plug to plug it in. Um, I did not plug this in. I kind of feel like maybe I should for like one second to see what happens. Let me plug it in. I haven't done that. Let's plug it in. 
Sorry, I have to plug it in off camera. There's no way around it. Oh, it lit up for a hot second. So I, I'm i going to say it doesn't light up. It did light up for a hot second. I'm not going to futz with it. We're going to say it doesn't light up, but it did. It lit up. Um, and it has that Miro Star meshing. It has that metal meshing that you know Miro Star for. So honestly, it is in excellent vintage condition. This measures, this measures nine inches tall for the angel. And the box is, the box is 11 inches tall. So the angel is nine inches tall. The box is 11 inches tall. And she has a little orange bulb under there. When I plugged it in, it did flicker. But I'm not going to futz with it to try to get, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm not. Last thing I need is for something to go up in flames in one of my sales. Like, wouldn't that just be the way? Like, I'd start some, like, Christmas holiday decor on fire. Like, I feel like that could happen. <laughs> I feel like that's real. <laughs> All right. We are going to count it down for you, Colleen. So 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. And you got it, Colleen. All right. Let's see. Where are you, Angel? There you are. You got a heck of a deal on that one. Congratulations. These go for a lot. And I haven't seen one in box before. So congrats. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to get it back in the box. So, in fact, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to put this somewhere safe. I'll get it back in the box later because this is hard. All right. <laughs> Hmm. All right, sorry I'm off camera, but yeah, I just, I'm not even trying to do that right now. It's, it's too, it's too fragile. Fragile. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's grab these, I'll grab this, I'll grab this. Um, and I think... I think I promised to give away. So let's do that. Let's do this cute little ornament. And we're going to do it a giveaway. And the giveaways are open to anyone. And so this little one, I think I got this from Kitchy Flower. I think it's a little, it's a little angel with chenille wings and a cardboard wings. I tried to mend them. They were worse for wear. Just a little, little, little bulb. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the giveaway. So lurkers, this is for you. Lurkers, you can, um, you can enter to this. I will mail it for free. So just a little angel ornament. Super duper old. This one's cusping antique, of course, but I think it is just vintage, but it's an oldie. Um, and then this is like a styrofoam ball with like sparklies. That's what this material is. Um, if you are interested in this little sweetie and she's holding a Christmas tree, uh, just type in the chat, uh, chat angel. You will not be docked if you accidentally type in angle because I do that all the time. So if you want, if you want to be entered in the giveaway, type in angel, um, open to everybody. It's, it's going to ship free. Um, I'll pay for the shipping. You get it for free. So angel and then a sweet little ornament. But yeah, I think I got this from Cole at Kitschy Flower. So I'm not sure if he like upcycled it this way or not. But I could see him upcycling it because he's super good at stuff like that. And she's really cute. All right. 
Oh, and her body is like that mica stuff that um, the um, putz houses have on them. So that's kind of fun. Oh my goodness, there's just like fluff flying from the feathers. Okay, so let's do number 13, because I like 13, and let's let's do stop. I'll enter stop. All right, and then you gotta trust me, because I'm gonna just count on my end. Um, my order will inevitably be different than yours. So we got one, two, three. Oh, somebody put in an emoji, that's funny. Four, wait, now it threw me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Buttons and acorns, that is yours for free. Congratulations, it's super cute. Um, and I think I have your info. If I don't, uh, just send it uh, via my website. So this is a website, not an email. Um, and it'll tell you what info I need. I need basically everything, even though it's free giveaway. I just need all the stuff. Um, but I know you've been here before, but I, I don't remember if I have your info or not. Sometimes I see people in other chats and like, I don't even, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's confusing. <laughs> um, let's see. Where was that giveaway? There it is. Buttons and acorns. Perfect. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. We are going to do a really, really, really cool Santa. Like, really cool. Oh, she is beautiful. Yeah. No, she's really cool. Um, I, uh, I hope you guys like this. I like, I, this is one of those pieces where like, sometimes I just don't know. Like, I don't know if you're going to be excited about this or not. Like, I think this is like one of the coolest things in the sale, but also like, I could not be. Um, so we're going to start this at 24. This is coming straight out of my personal collection. I love this guy. I hope you guys love him. He's so good. So this is a gorgeous and huge chalkware Santa. And he's got like the perfect Santa face. Like he's just, he's just a good Santa. He's not creepy. He's not mischievous. He's a very trustworthy soul. Okay. Um, here there is some paintware on the back. And it does say Mexico on the back. So this met this is big. So this measures. There there is paintware, but there's no like really big chips on this. Just paintware. So this measures 13 inches tall. So this is pretty big. So I'll let you look at the paint conditions on it. You can see on his belt he has a chip. There's a little bit of chipping on his bag. I think that's basically it on the front. And then on the back, it's got, I think somebody stuck a sticker on him. I think that's what happened on the back. It looks like a sticker spot, doesn't it? But yeah, he's in really good condition for what he is. And he is for sure chalkware. He's not, um, he's not the composite material. You know what I mean? Because this fella is at least three pounds. <laughs> He's a chubby one. <laughs> He's heavy. <laughs> so this is a heavy, heavy Santa. But honestly, it is. It's just really just chipping with the paint. You can kind of see the condition. Make sure you see it all. But he's cool. He's really, really cool. And I really loved him in my Santa display. I thought he was a really good one. <laughs> and let's count this down for you, Susan Lynn. He is. He's so cool. I love him. I just love them so much. Like this, this might be my favorite thing in the wholesale. So this, I, yeah, I think this is my, absolutely my favorite thing in the wholesale. He's so cool. Um, and let's count it down for you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and mid and. <laughs> Ooh, we have some action right at the end. Okay, so Gail, your 31 came after the bid end. 
So Susan Lynn, uh, you're getting for 29. Congratulations. I, I think that's a really good deal too. If you look what these go for on eBay, that's a really good deal. So congratulations. Oh, I hope you love him. Um, he, yeah, he, my baby. I love him. I think he's so cool. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, yes, I'm here for the, uh, the creepy Santas, but I like the ones that look sweet and trustworthy. <laughs> and I, he's definitely one that I'm like, oh, he's sweet and trustworthy. <laughs> um, Susan Lynn. All right, I got you down. So let's see. I think I'm going to do this next thing as choice. I didn't originally think I was doing it as choice, but I think I, I think I messed up what I was doing. So yeah, I'm going to do it as choice because you know, life, life is hard. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's do this one. Um, let's do display boxes. And let's just, I'm going to mark it as choice. Because I think they're both really cool. So we'll, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Sometimes you don't make decisions till the last minute. <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a display box choice. And we're going to start at 12. They're very different boxes, but I think they're both heckin' cool. So I think they're pretty equivalent. So the first one, I love this so much. I hope y'all love it too. The first one is this um, ornament box. Now they're smaller ornaments, so I'll give you the measurements for sure. And they're gold. And what I love about this is, do you see the 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 stars? It has um. Do you see the starburst in there? The background has starburst. It's so cool. And then on the side, you can see that the side graphics are beautiful on the outside with the red and the green and the snowflakes. But then on the inside, the side graphics is um, like pine, le pine, pine needles. It's just, it's stunning. And I love to decorate with the ornament cases. That's something I love to decorate with. So Here's what it looks like. <laughs> There's a feather on it. <laughs> so this is Colby Glass products. So these, let's see, are they even marked anything on the top? Made in USA. Okay, so the, the ornaments they made in USA, the all the ornaments are there. Here's the back. And so this one measures... This one measures eight and a half inches tall by six inches wide. And the next box is significantly smaller, but it's awesome. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. So it is this Payne's Genuine Fire Balsam Incense. I didn't know that was a thing, but look at how cute this guy is. Like, is he not the cutest? So this one is this small. Also, the stuff is in it. Whatever fire balsam incest is, it's in here. Doesn't really smell like anything, but it's in here. Um, and this box measures five and a half by three and a half. So this is a teeny tiny one. Well, not, not that small, oh, not teeny tiny. but it's really neat. I've never seen it before picking it up. And then here's the back. It's in really good condition as well. So both these boxes are in exceptionally good condition. And both would be really fun for displaying for Christmas. The reason I love this one, well, of course the Santa, right? But it's just a different box than what other people would have. That's why I like it so much. Um, because like I said, I've never seen it until I picked it up. <coughs> And we're going to count it down for you, Rosanna. I, I do. I think it's for the fireplace. I don't know what fire balsam is, but I do. I think it's for the fireplace. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. On choice.
These are really fun. I really like these. All right, Rosanna, what would you like? Bulbs or fire? I think I know which one you want. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, these are, these are beautiful. Oh, both. Oh, see you through me. I didn't know you wanted both. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll love those. Those are fun. I, I just, I love leaving the boxes of the ornaments out during Christmas. It's such an easy, like, I, like it's such an easy win. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm weird, but it, it does feel like it's like an easy thing to decorate with. That looks great. 12 and that's Rosanna. All right, let's, hmm. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. <laughs> I am going to do a really kitschy set of Claus and Mrs. Claus. And then afterwards, I'm going to... Um, <laughs> the Santa box. Yeah, it's cool. It's just different. Um, we are going to do a super duper kitschy set. I don't know if anyone's going to be interested in this. So this is going to start at 16 for the set. And this reminds me so much of Mother Tucker's. Like it just, it screams Mother Tucker's because they love these handmade kitschy, kitschy things. So this is Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus, and they are crafted with doll heads, and they are on books. And these are a handmade project somebody made. The bottom is like a really heavy duty plate, disposable plate, and it's a folded book. It's really heckin' cool. So I'll give you some close-ups on these. So we have our Santa head and he's got glasses. I don't, this one, I feel like he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, I feel like he's just oblivious to the world. I don't know. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from this Santa. He's the oblivious to things Santa. He's got his pack. He's got cute little stitched outfit and a stitched hat. These are all cotton balls. This is a book. And then the bottom is the paper plate. And this measures, what does it measure? 12 inches tall. And then he comes with his missus. Now, honestly, I think out of the two of them, the missus is the cool one because she's got the side eye. <laughs> and she thinks Mr. Claus is just side eye all day long. So her hat is made. There is a rubber band kind of holding it on, but it'll stay on by its own. She's got the, again, the cotton ball hair. This was all sewn by the person, the outfit. Again, the book, the cotton trim, and the bottom. And I'm not seeing any interest in these. So we are going to pass on these. I know these are like a weird, like, honestly, when I think about it, I'm like, I think Mother Tuckers are the only people that collect the handmade kits. So they're, they're, they're kind of a weird thing. Um, but I love them. They make me super happy. Um, let's see. All right. And then we're going to go for like, I think we're going to go for like the biggest item I have. Um, and it's a set. So we're going to, we're going to go for the biggest item. Oh, okay. We are going to go for the Santa punch set with the Santa mugs. And it is, it is really neat. Really, really neat. And then I think we'll do probably maybe another Santa and then a giveaway. I have so many giveaways in the sale, but I just kind of wanted to have fun. So, um, okay. Oh, and I have another punch bowl set. Maybe, maybe you guys saw it though. I have another, um, another punch set coming up. So this punch set is going to start at $32. And you get the pitcher, three mugs, 
and the original ladle. And we're going to go through all of it, okay? So this is a heckin' good price on this. Okay, so first we have the ladle, which like doesn't ever happen. And the person chose to just leave the ladle white, but there is a Santa head in the ladle. So you can see it's kind of like this big. No chips, no cracks. And then it says Chuck and Ann, Merry Xmas, 1963 from Raj and Donna. So there is that. So 1963. And then it has three heckin' cute Santa mugs. So I'm sure there were more at some time. I'm sure they, you know, they're punch cup size, they're the little size. The red is fired on since this is a hobbyist piece. So it is in really good shape. The person did a great job. And then again is the 1963. So you'll get three mugs. And it is nice that the red is like fired on on these. So you're like, if you were to wash these and such, I mean, not dishwasher, of course, but washing these is not going to get the red off like, like a typical um, Santa mug. And then here is the picture. That is the piece everybody wants is the picture. Um, hard to find the pictures. You only find the mugs. It has no chips, no cracks. It's in really good condition. Um, I got this from the family it came from. I got this from the original family. It is nine and a half inches tall, okay? It is heavy. Probably weighs the same as a human head. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but they did a great job. He's a creepy Santa, but they did a really good job. No chips, no cracks. Again, written out on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to pass. Looks like this is a passer too. I'm going to pass on that one. Thank you for your consideration, my friends. All right, I do have to get up though because I have to move it. I think what is so cool about that is the fact that it has the ladle. Like, when do you see the ladle? Like, you don't, right? I think for me, that was kind of the coolest part. And I think it's because it came from the original family is why I have the ladle. You know what I mean? Like, I bought it from the lady who was gifted that. So, <laughs> all right. Next, we are going to do a little Joseph's Original Angel. And let's see, I have to actually find her on my sheet though. Um, goodness, where is she? Mm -hmm. And I think, there we go. We're gonna start her at 12. And she does have her sticker. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you it all. There is a lot of rum in that eggnog. I'm telling you though, eggnog is like the poor man's Tom and Jerry's. Tom and Jerry is way better than eggnog and I will go to the mat for that. Um, Tom and Jerry is just way better. <laughs> it's just so much better. It makes eggnog like gross. So she has no chips, no cracks. Her wings are fine. She's a sweet little angel. She's got her Joseph's original sticker. And she is, she is, four and a quarter inches tall. Yeah, no chips, no cracks on her, no damage. She's a sweet little Joseph's original. Yeah, she is, she's a cute one. She's a super duper cute one, I love her. And angels are just kind of, oh, and she does have the Japan sticker. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. So she has the Japan sticker, she has the Joseph's original sticker and no chips, no cracks. She would look really cute with the little carolers too. She's like the same height. 
All right, we're going to count it down for you, my dear. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid and. Let's see what we got. So let's see. The first 14 I see is Shauna. So Shauna, you get it. Chuck, your 15 came just after the bid end. So Shauna, this little angel is yours and she's in perfect condition. Let's see. Yeah, so Tom and Jerry is a drink. Tom and Jerry is a holiday drink. That is, it's a famous holiday drink, but it's old. It's a very old holiday drink, but it is so much better than eggnog, like infinitely better than eggnog. But that's why you see all those bowls that say Tom and Jerry, because it's, it's a drink. That's what it is. Like Tom and Jerry was a drink. Tom and Jerry and eggnog were like the two holiday drinks. And for some reason, eggnog went out and Tom and Jerry is actually better. <laughs> like it's way better it is so much better like i will go to the mat for it um it um let's see shauna it um it is uh like an additive that you can put in hot water and you can of course spike it if you want i don't really drink alcohol so i don't spike mine when i have it at home um and it's like a batter and you mix it into hot water and it is so good. So good. Um, most liquor stores get like at least one crate of Tom and Jerry batter every Christmas, but it sells out like really fast because the people who love Tom and Jerry like go to get that. But most liquor stores get at least one crate full of the Tom and Jerry batter. Um, so like everywhere I've ever been, Florida, here, anywhere, the, the liquor stores have it. So you just ask for Tom and Jerry batter and they know what you're talking about. All right, let's do a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, the Tom and Jerry bowls, I feel, are a tough sell. I have one more uh, punch set to sell that is a harder to find one as well. And again, I'm going to sell it at a good price. But there, we'll, we'll see if I get any bids on it. But I have one more in the sale. Um, let's see. Let's do a giveaway. And I want to do Home Co. Put it in your home. <laughs> I don't know if Fat Birds is still here. They probably just popped in and popped out. Um, but we're doing the Home Co Santa because I love him. This is one of my favorite Santas for Christmas. Absolute favorite Santas. And because he's one of my favorites, I decided to just do him as a giveaway because he's my favorite. And I'm just, I'm going to give him as a gift to somebody. Um, he is the Homeco Bank. He's the Homeco Santa Bank. He's like this big. I'm paying for shipping if you get him. He's got his Homeco sticker. He's got his plug. He is so stinking cute. There are a few versions of this. There's a few versions of the Santa but he's that six inch size. And I actually collect the six inch size bank Santas. I collect them. And so this one is um, going to be the giveaway. So the giveaway is for everyone, even lurkers. You get it for free. I will mail this to you. So if you want to be entered to win the Home Co. Santa Bank, enter the word Home Co. in the chat and you'll be entered. And I don't care if you spell home co wrong. Uh, like some of us vintage people know how to spell it. It's not the way you think it would be. Um, but if you don't know how to spell it, it's fine. Just enter home co. It, I'll know what you mean. Um, but yeah, some people might not know that if they don't do the vintage reselling. <laughs> oh, multiple people have a weird spelling in there. It must be really close to certain keys. That's funny. All right, I, I'm counting everybody that was entered, by the way. You like you screwed it up, it's fine, I'm counting you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna say stop. All right, and we're gonna pick, 
I don't know if I have enough people for this. We're going to pick number 16. I don't know if I have enough entries for that, but we're just going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try. And then just so you know, your order will be different than mine. You will be higher up in the order than I see it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Chuck, you won. Chuck, you won the Santa. <laughs> Congratulations. Chuck, you get the home code Santa. He's super cute. So now you have to collect them all. Just so you know. <laughs> there, there is. There's different versions. Um, <laughs> okay, next we're going to do some very pretty breakables. These are probably the most like breakable things I have in the sale. Um, but they're cool. They're a cool thing. They're, they're a little different. So I hope you like them. Um, let's see. Woof. It has been a while y'all. Thank you for sticking with me. There's a lot of people still here and this sale is gone long. So thank you so much. Um, I understand that like, you know, this, that's a lot, you know, so we're going to do blown glass. We're going to do, we're going to do choice on this. So, okay. Okay. So we're going to start this at 12 and we, um, got a choice. Okay. So we have this gorgeous pair of blown glass candlesticks. Kind of see the height. I'll show you the or everything. They have glitter. They have gold. They're amazing. They're so fragile. So fragile. They have mica on the inside. They're hollow. They're amazing. And then we have a Napco Bell. Super cute. Has its sticker still. Really cute. Okay. So, so that's going to be the next one. I mean, look how really fine that deer is. Really, really neat. And there's there's leaves etched in the bottom. This is a really cool piece. Okay. So the candlesticks. So these are like mercury glass line hollow and they look like icicles. And then on the top they have glitter and the glitter is dripping down. So they are like a, um, pearlized white gold with gold glitter. Okay. I have used these. They're very sturdy. They can hold candles, but they are fragile AF. If you drop them, they're done. So they are the fragile, fragility, frag, fragility, fragility. Yeah. Of like, a, of like a tree topper, like the tree topper point thing. Do you know what I mean? That's like how fragile they are, but they're, they're very, um, they'll, they'll hold candles. They hold candles just fine. The, um, tall one, measures just about eight inches tall. And the short one is just about six inches tall. Um, they are in vintage condition. They do have some wear, but they're, they're just really pretty. And then we have a Napco bell and this measures six and a half inches tall, no chips and no cracks on this. And it is a Napco bell. It dings. It has its original Napco sticker and it has etching on the bell on the bottom. And then look at the fine work of the deer. I don't typically pick up bells. Bells are not my jam, but this one is so cool that like it's, it's better than a bell. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It might not. I don't know. <laughs> It almost is like a women's silhouette. Yeah, it's just, it's so cool. Because I don't even understand how it survived this long. Does that make sense also? Would you ever see like vintage and you're like, how did you even make it? How did you even make it? I mean, it even has berries in the glass. Like that's how fine this is. And like, look how tiny. Like that deer is the size of my nose. Like it's just, it's exquisite. It is absolutely exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. And no chips, no cracks on this. Um, the sticker has some wear, but it is still there. So, 
All right, and we are going to count this down. I see you, Lori. Let's count this down for you. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. And hi, Kim. <laughs> Let's see. Lori, I see you're 15 after the bid end on my my side. So Rebecca, and you might be new to me, Rebecca, for 13, you get choice. So you can say either bell or candlestick pair for your choice. You can take both or you can take one of the two. And there's a second candlestick. I just can't hold it all. <laughs> candlestick pair, okay? And then, Rebecca, if I don't have your info, here is my website right here. And if you go on my website, there is a contact page. And it tells you everything I need for the YouTube sale. So I'm not sure if I have your info. If I don't, just go there. All right, candlestick pair. And then um, Lori, are you interested in the Napco Bell? Yes, you can. All right. Lori, you got the bell, and let's see, you got the bell for 12. Congratulations. All right, got it down. Those ones are super, super breakable, so I have to actually move them over there. They can't go in my sold area because they just can't. They just can't. Let's do something. Hmm. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do something kind of interesting. So I'm going to need your guys' help as to what you want me to do with this. Um, because I'm not sure what makes the most sense. Okay. So I have these reflectors. They're light strings with reflectors on them. These vintage light strings with reflectors. I have three. I have three of these. Three separate strands. Okay. Do you just want me to sell all three or do you want me to do choice? I will do either way. I'm not sure what people want. I'm not sure if this is something crafters want and you literally want one strand or if you want to decorate a tree in the reflector and you want them all. Like, I don't, I don't know. So let me know. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, what you guys want choice. We'll take the first three answers. Okay. We'll take the first three because yeah, I just, I want to make sure, I want to make sure I get you guys what you want and you're not like, nobody wants all of them, Catherine, <laughs> or somebody's like, why wouldn't somebody want all of them? I just, I don't know. Um, where are the reflectors? Mm -hmm. Reflectors. There we go. I only see one answer. Somebody said choice. I only see one answer. Anyone else help me out with that? We're just going to go with choice then. <laughs> Lori's like, I'm just going to put choice again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do choice. All right. So. Do, 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 do. Vintage reflector lights choice. Let me change the listing. Start and we'll change the price. So it's only a third of what I was starting it at. 
because math is hard. All right. We're doing the vintage reflectors. We're doing them as choice. And we're starting them at $6 because that's a third of what I had the whole thing priced. So there we go. Math. Um, so yeah, they're just a strand of reflectors. I do not, I did not measure them or anything. I have not plugged them in. So I have done nothing with them, but y'all know what they are. Like you, you know what it is. Um, if somebody wins choice and you feel very strongly that you want the box and you only want one, but you really, really want the box, I'll give you the box. They all appear to be in pretty darn good condition. They all appear to have all their reflectors. Um, yeah, they look pretty darn good. They're just kind of nostalgic for me because, you know, I remember these when I was younger, but they don't really do them anymore. <laughs> I think these would be cool in crafts. I do. I think they'd be really neat because they have that, that pretty gorgeous reflector in the inside plus the tinsel. And they also have cool colorways, right? Like they have like an orange and a pink and a, I don't know. They just have like a little bit different colorways too, which is nice. Um, yeah, they're just kind of fun. Hi, Amy. Welcome. <laughs> Amy, I'm so thrown by um, the secret Laura told last night about you. I'm so thrown. I, I feel like my life is a lie. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I totally get it. I totally get why you would um, change it. <laughs> hmm. Small bulbs. Uh, small bulbs, uh, Gabby. They are the... Um, they are like the itty bitty strands. They're like the same ones we still use now. They're the little ones that change out. They have like those little nubbins on the bottom. Let's see if I can, here, let me see if I can show it better. Let's see if I can pull one out so you can see. I won't, Amy. <laughs> All right, we're going to count it down. Thank you for your bids and your interest, everyone. And thank you for letting me know what to do choice because I didn't know. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Thank you, everybody, for your interest on those. I'm glad you liked them. I, um, I just thought these were neat when I found them. I just, I was like, oh, that's cool. It just reminded me of my childhood. I don't know. That was neat. All right. What do we got? Gabby, I see you're 16 right before the bid end. Oh no. Gabby's quick. She's quick. And she jumps the bid because she knows everybody's going up by a dollar. She's, she's a smart one. Um, Gabby, what would you like in choice? Would you like one bag, two bags, three bags? If you take three bags, you're automatically getting the um, box. Just so you know. Two for me and one for Pam. I will do that. Gabby, do you have any interest of who gets the box? Do you have any preference? Nope, there are three. There are three, not four. I think so. I think they're all the same. I think so. Let me just make sure. They look to be all the same. Let's see. Let's make sure I'm not lying. I haven't looked at them this closely. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I am lying. They are slightly different. One has orange. And these other two do not have orange. This one has orange in it. 
These ones do not. So one or has orange, two do not, and we got a box. <laughs> she is so sweet. I had to laugh at your PYT sale. We were all trying to like gift Gabby something. It was really funny. I'll take one pink and one orange and have a pink. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, and then let's go, let's see. Let's go 16, 16 each. And then I just got to write that direction down. Hold on. And other to Pam. Perfect. And then let's see. Do Pam want the box? Pam doesn't want the box. Gabby, you're getting the box. <laughs> Throw it out. Probably. I don't care. Perfect. Gabby, one pink, one orange with the box. Thank you, everybody, for your interest in those. I'm excited to see that there's some crafty people that got those. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. Um, hmm. I kind of have a feeling that y'all might not be interested in the next one, but we're just going to go with it because sometimes I'm wrong a lot, a lot more than sometimes. Actually, I should just say a lot. <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay. I'll give myself more credit than that, but like, I, yeah, sometimes I just know. Um, we are going to try, let's see, where is it? This Hazel Atlas punch bowl set. And we're starting it at 35, but that's a good starting price. This is half the price of what you will see it listed online. And online, they're charging shipping, too. And I feel like this one is harder to find than one that just says Tom and Jerry or eggnog, okay? This one is harder to find. And it is the punch bowl set. It has six cups. We will go through it. But it is the Hazel Atlas red punch bowl set. It has never been through the dishwasher. And everything's in pretty darn good condition, okay? So... In this, you get six cute little cups. They're basically like a milk glass with um, like the design put wrapped around them. Y'all know what this is. It's like that, you know what it is. You know what I'm talking about. And this cup, it's a wee one. It's only three inches tall. So they're little, but they're neat. They're really, really neat. And I always see punch bowls that are the Tom and Jerry, and I see the punch bowls that are eggnog. I've literally never seen this in person besides finding it. So there are six cups. They're all in pretty darn good condition. No chips, no cracks on anything on this. If anything, there's maybe little pinprint marks of like where the paint, just tiny, tiny pinprint marks. Um, in fact, this one has it. Right there by the leaf, there's a little mark where the paint has come up a little bit. Can you see that? But that's it. That's like the extent of the damage on these. And that and that happens with this stuff that's that flashed. So I'm going to show you every cup just so you can see them all. There's six of them. I'm running out of room for the cups. I'm running out of room, folks. Okay, and then the bowl, no chips or no cracks on this. And the bowl measures across, it measures nine and a half inches and down it is six inches tall. So it is a big one. And I see you Rosanna, let's count it down. So 
for the punch bowl and the six cups. And we're going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. And Heather, you snuck in here. Hello, my dear. Nice to see you. Heather, will you be selling possibly tomorrow? Possibly? Hmm? Does that start tomorrow or am I making things up? If it does start tomorrow, please, um, please put it in the chat so people know. Yeah, please put your link in the chat. Heather is selling on her channel. Y'all, that's exciting. That's super exciting. Fair warning though, sales do not grow your audience the way um, evergreen content does. So usually when I put a video out, I can see kind of like my, ch my channel does better, but that's not really what happens with sales. It just doesn't. People don't watch them after the fact in the same way. I mean, some people do, but it's not the same. That is a cool set. Congratulations. I'm glad you're getting it. You've snagged some of my absolute favorite things, Rosanna. You really have. And I, I'm always like so excited when you get it. Rosanna is such a sweetie. She sent me some really cute things over the days. <laughs> and for 35, congratulations. Um, okay, I'm going to sell the biggest things I have. And then we're going to taper down. Um... We're going to taper down a little bit, I think. P Miss Pam, I promised you a full detail shot of the next thing, and I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it for you. I'm so sorry. Um, but we are going to do the... Um... Oh, that's awesome. That's going to look really good. This is going to look really good. I can so see that as a tree stand. Oh, yeah. That would look awesome. Um, so we are going to do a choice of basilicates. Uh, these are items that somebody made, handmade. They are not in perfect condition. Um, Miss Pam, I did say I was going to show one prior to the sale, and I forgot. But we're going to do our best to show them really well in the sale. So... What we're going to have is we're going to have a tree skirt and a tablecloth, okay? They're not in perfect condition. We're going to go over it. And they're the Basilla kits. So somebody took a heckin' a lot of time to bead these suckers and sew it all by hand. So these are amazing. But it took somebody a ton of time. So... This one is a beautiful tree skirt, and you can probably see it even now. It has an ink stain in the middle. As far as I can tell, that is the only damage on it, but it is so amazing. Do you see all the work somebody did sewing all that? All the beadwork. It's blowing it out on camera, but these are gorgeous. So much work. And this measures across, this measures 41 inches across, not including the fringe, because that's too complicated to figure out. But it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can tell it's all hand done on the back. Somebody beaded every freaking little sequin the whole thing is hand stitched and it's on felt and it's one of those cool old basilicates, but it does have ink stains in the center. So it's not in perfect condition, but if you put a tree over it, or if you use this on your table and you put like a big, um, like serving platter in the center, that's how I had this displayed. It was in my table with a serving platter in the center. You don't see the damage since it's in the middle. Okay, so that's choice one. Beautiful Basilla kit with the doves all the way around. And then choice two 
is a super fragile tablecloth, a super duper fragile tablecloth. And all hand stitched yet again. Okay, so here's kind of what's happening. Okay. And on the back, you can see all the stitches. Everything that's attached to this, the person did by hand. This is the mesh you think it is. This is that, it's not quite tool. This is coarser than tool. So I don't know the exact name of this, but every single bead on here, and they all have a bead and a sequin. Somebody did by hand. And it is a whole scene. It's a whole thing. It's a whole tablecloth. I'll get you the measurements. So we got Santa and his sleigh over here. And we got stars and there's like a dancing Santa and a tree and some candles and an angel, all hand done. And this measures, oh my God, this is a big one. Um, I actually have to do math and I have to double it up because I can't open it. Um, this one measures. Math is hard. Who else is with me? So times two, what is this time two? So this is 32 times two. So 66 by, 66 by 44, 66 by 44. So it is like a legit big tablecloth. And the fact that there aren't more problems with it. I do think there are some snags in it that I can't see right now. I'm just sure there is because, well, life. But it is amazing. Somebody did that all by hand. Here, let's see if we can get Santa all spread out. I just love this so much. It's so neat. I hope someone thinks it's cool. It's not amazing. All done by hand. Thank you so much for your bids, everyone. Thank you. I know I haven't been watching the chat. I've been trying to figure out how to display this because it's wild. Um, but it's amazing. <laughs> Somebody did such a good job. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's so neat. All right, I have to put these down in a different location. There's no way around it. They're too fragile. So they can't be on the screen when I'm doing the countdown. I'm sorry. <laughs> they just, they gotta move. <laughs> All right, 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. <laughs> Thank you so much for your bids, everybody. I truly appreciate it. Um, those are really fun. That is a lot of work. I just, oh, I love how much work that is. It just makes me happy. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, action at the end. Gabby, I see you're 26 before the bid end, so you get first choice. So Gabby, just say red or green or both. Um, and then the next one I see will be Lori at 18. So you'll be back up, Lori. And then let's do a giveaway next. Red, okay. 26. And then Lori, would you be interested in green? I kind of think that was the one you wanted, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no thanks. Okay, dang, I was wrong. <laughs> um, let's see. And then who else was, is there anyone else in here? Rosanna. Rosanna, would you be interested in green? Um, you would have it at 13, right? Wait, right? Nope. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yes, I'll take green. Okay, 13, all right. I just realized, I think I'm running low on battery. Okay, I am, yeah, this sale is getting long. I don't like to do sales this long. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do some of the heavy hitters. Um, because yeah, the sale is getting pretty long. So um, next up, we are gonna do 
Um, we are going to do a Santa blow mold, which I think is cool. Um, if there is, um, no, no, let's do a giveaway. No, no, no. What, what am I thinking? I love how like I like get off track just like in the middle of even saying thing. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do a tablecloth giveaway because of what we just did. Let's do that. So this is a paper poinsettia tablecloth. And because it's new in package, I can't open it to show you what it is. Um, it's by Fashion Wear. I'm guessing this is the 80s. That's what it feels like. But it is 1.44 yards by 2.67 yards or 52 inches by 92 inches. And it is a poinsettia tablecloth. I don't know what it looks like. So I'm going to give it away because I don't know. So, um, <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in the tablecloth, free giveaway, I will mail it to anyone. Lurkers, I'm calling on you. Uh, put in the word red in the chat. Put in the word red and we'll give it away. I wish like this was open. You know what I mean? Like I wish I could tell you what it looks like, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming the poinsettias go all the way around in a pattern of some sort. But I don't know. I just, I'm a sucker for stuff that's new in packaging, so I pick it up. Even though at the time when I picked it up, I wasn't thinking, hey, Catherine, that's going to be hard to sell because no one can tell what it is. <laughs> I had no, I didn't, that didn't even run through my head. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do stop. And let's do a number I haven't picked yet. Um, let's do number 10. Um, and you got to trust me because your order will look a little different than mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lori, you got it. You were just before the stop. You were the 10th person. That was actually the last one. So congratulations. <laughs> Blue Flamingo Mercantile. All right. You got it. Um, and then now let's do the Santa Blue Mold. I love this guy. I love him so much. Love him, love him, love him. So we're going to start him at 18. And what's so cool about this guy is his size. He can be a tabletop, but he's also big enough that he doesn't have to be a tabletop. But that's why I like him. Because he's a cool size. He's not a big, giant one. You can still put him in your house, which I did. So here he is, and you can see he does have some sunwear and some paint wear, but he's still in pretty darn good condition. He does not have a kit, like a light kit. It's just him. Um, I wasn't displaying him with a light kit. It's so funny, like there's still feathers flying in the air from that whole power angle. <laughs> oh, God. Um, he is 19 inches tall. So he's like straight up toddler size, <laughs> but he's really cool. So, um, <laughs> I see you, Susan. The gold ornaments are, oh, yep. The gold ornaments are sold. Yep. In the box, the ones in the box. Yes. I sold those. I still have, um, a lot of vintage ornaments that are pretty cool. One of them is like mercury beads and stuff. I can sell that next. We'll do that next. Um, he is, he is toddler Santa. You've heard of baby Santa. Now there's toddler Santa, but you can see the condition. He is in good condition. He's cute. And I like his little tush. He's got a little tushy. <laughs> He's got like one of those flat butts. Anyone else like team flat butt like me? Like I'm team flat butt. <laughs> okay. Um, let's count it down. <laughs> Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Thank you for your bids, everyone. He's super cute. And let's see, Susan, I see you right after the bid end. 
Um, and Rosanna, you get him 421. Congratulations. Good pickup on that one. Low modes can be so expensive. Um, even like like on uh, like Facebook Marketplace and stuff where I usually go for like deals. Like people sell their bow mounts for like freaking expensive amount of money. I'm like, jeez, okay. I like I always kind of think that like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, like I'm going there for a deal, right? Like you're not eBay, sir. <laughs> but some people apparently think they are eBay. Now, because we got a question about the ornaments, um, let's do this beautiful, it's like a mishmash of vintage ornaments. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, where do I even have it on my, okay, here, old ornament lot. Oh, Catherine, that's not a good explanation of what you're about to sell. You're going to be questioning that later. <laughs> Choices were made. They weren't the good ones. <laughs> So it's just an ornament lot of a bunch of different vintage ones. And I'm just going to go through it. Uh, yes, question. Yep, just type it in the chat. Um, so this is a fun ornament lot. We got a set of three of these in here. And these are made in Japan and they still have their kegs right here. These are fun. Those are in the lot. Then we have some fun glass ones. The red ones in the worst condition. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of wonky. You'll see it if you get it, but it's, we got some double dimples, some mica, and these are like some smaller ones. And then one for sure is war era because it doesn't have the silvering. So that's pretty cool. This is very red, white, and blue, by the way. This bag was very red, white, and blue until I put in those that last lot of those three you just saw. And then, okay, here's the money shot, okay? Oh, the chicken cookie jar. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Um, so this is the money shot. This is the ornament that's worth it. This single ornament can go for a lot <laughs> and it's in fairly good condition so if you know anything about this this is mercury glass beads this ornament this is an antique and this one is the one that is all the value in the, the bag in fact i don't even want to tell you what these are going for on ebay because it's wild um then okay these i think are genuinely old but i've never seen them before I think these are old. They're like plastic bubbles, but I think they're old. You see? I've never seen them before, so I don't know. They're like kind of like a like a thin plastic blow mold thing. There's two of them. I think they're old. I don't think they're modern. I think these are old. Um, and then um, there are some little snowflakey ones in here. There's one that is missing one of his little petals, but there's a couple snowflakes in here. But that's the lot. So it's just a bunch of random vintage ornaments that I found. It was like very, um, it was very like red, white, and blue at first. And that was what I was gonna do. I was gonna be like, it's a red, white, and blue lot. like. That's what I was gonna say. And then I was like, oh, I feel like this isn't enough ornaments. So I threw in those and I ruined it <laughs> with the green one. <laughs> so that's all of them. And it's just a, just a fun little antique ornament lot. Because some of those are for sure the 30s and earlier. So thank you for your bits on those, you guys. Thank you. And yes, I'll talk about the chicken in a second. All right, so we're going to count it down. Thank you for the bids, everyone. I appreciate it. So 10, and if, oh, you've never seen them either. Okay, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. You do have more ornaments. I do have a big lot that's going to be at a really good price. 
I do have a big lot of ornaments. It's going to be a good price. Gabby, I see you at 26 for this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know you got a good deal because you know how much that star is worth. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so the, um, the chicken, well, chicken not for sale, by the way. Um, but yes, let me show you the chicken. It's a rare one. Um, it took me a long time to even find it. There were no recent cops, recent solds. And, um, oh, come here, you. and it looks very much like chicken little. It looks very much like chicken little. Not for sale. Hope nobody has me on mute. They're going to start bidding, but it's not for sale. But it's big. It's huge. And that is a Joseph's original. Kind of weird, huh? It's a weird piece. Because it's like, it literally is like chicken little. It's like a baby chicken. He's really cute, though. He's super cute. And thank you. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. It's kind of weird. And the red is cold paint. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that's the chicken. That is a Joseph's original. Um, and he's pretty hard to find. However, um, what he does sell for, I won't let him go for. So um, that's why he is not for sale. Because <laughs> uh, I would want more than what his quote unquote value is. Because I like him. So, all right, I do have one last like actual ornament lot. It's not super, it's not like, I guess super interesting, but there is a bunch of ornaments and it's going to be at a great deal. Um, because I just, I just wanted to give a good deal. Um, blue and silver ornament lot. We're going to start it at 16. <laughs> You don't, you can't, you can't pay me enough to get rid of that. <laughs> you would literally have to give me $250 for the chicken for me to consider it. <laughs> and that's way overvalued. Um, so we are going to do an ornament lot. Okay. And so what you have in here is you have 18 or was it 19? I wrote it down. Hold on. Oh, I didn't write it down. We're just going to say 18, but I think it might be 19. You have 18 teardrop ornaments. And they do say, let's see. Um, nope, I can't read that one. Let me find one I can read. Made in the USA. So there's 18 of these in the slot. They're just in here a little willy-nilly, but they're all the same blue, okay? And they do have variation in height. There's tags on them because they, these were in my booth. So just so you know. So there's 18 of these. They're in a box that doesn't match them, but they're in there. And they will be wrapped to the nines when you get them. I promise you. They will be um, wrapped really well. Then you get this box of blue ornaments. And it is missing one. And I didn't know that when I picked it up. And so I was very bummed. I didn't notice that this one is missing. It's under the tree. The tree graphic in the box, you see that? So I didn't notice, but that comes in the lot too. And then these ones say on the top, they say shiny bright. So these are made in the USA shiny bright. But yeah, I didn't notice there wasn't one right there when I bought it. Now I'm like, ah, dang it. So there's that. And then you also get one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I totally broke something on the screen. Oh my god. Oh, uh, it has to happen to everyone once, right? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Okay, so you get five. You get five silver ornaments. Oh damn it! <laughs> My heart is going so fast. Oh my god. Okay, you get you get five. You get five silver ornaments. They're the mercury glass ones. 
Um, nothing on the top. Let's see if there's any that say anything on the top. Let's see. Shiny bright made in the USA. Shiny bright made in the USA. Oh, yeah. So, um, and so that's, that's the lot. That's the lot. That's it. So you're getting like 30 ornaments for $16 and these, um, ornaments usually are three bucks a piece. So, <laughs> and if, you know what? The reason I was like startled was little miss was over here. And so she's my blind cat. And so I was startled that she was over here and I was like looking over and that's when I dropped it because, and then she jumped because I dropped it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I know. I know. It's okay. It's just like, like your heart goes through the roof and the anxiety goes through the roof and there's nothing I can do to stop that train. <laughs> All right. Doesn't look like there was any interest in that. So we're going to pass. I'm going to pass on that. And then let's see. We're getting close to the end. I'm doing pretty good. I was worried I was going to get too tired to finish out stuff. Um, but we're doing pretty good. We're going to do a true Christ in Christmas. Oh, <laughs> all right. If you, if you bid, uh, if you bid 16, just put 16 in the chat so that I can see it, Rebecca, so that I can see it back. Um, I'll just count it down for you. If there's ever a question, if something's sold or whatever, I still just need to see it in the chat. It helps me to like fly through it. All right, let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. <laughs> All right, Rebecca, you got those for 16. And I will, I, I'm taking all those bulbs out of the the broken bag and like it'll be safe i promise you you won't be like cutting yourself on anything I'll, I'll pull all that out and fix it that's a really cool lot though i know you know some people decorate for hanukkah some people like the blues and silvers for christmas so i picked those up in various lots and i was like you know what if i put these all together somebody could actually decorate a full tree with how many ornaments are on there because you know there's a lot so <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. We are going to do, we are going to do a nativity. Um, and we're going to start it at 24. Now, I know some people, um, I know some nativities can go really high. And there's like certain makers but I'm going to 100% tell you that I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a crazy wild nativity. So it is fairly large. You can kind of see. And it has all of the people. Okay. All your people are there. Everything's there. And it reminds me of my childhood. Now the angel is the tricky one. He's hanging on a hook. So here's what he looks like. And I will give you a close-up of everything. And it does say Gloria in Chelsea's Deo. So I am assuming this is Italian. But I have no, I don't know how to tell. Um, I don't know how to tell. Like, I know some Italians can be really expensive. I don't know how to tell that. So let's give you a close-up. really cute. The angel hangs on the star or on the, the hook right there. So it has all its pieces. The fact that that angel is still there blows my mind because it just hangs. And then it is, it does, I believe it's Twilight Night. Somebody's going to be so mad at me for wanting that because it's going to play forever. So it is 12 inches by nine and a half inches. 
Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't find that cream jar online. No, you can't. It's very rare. <laughs> um, but it's only worth about eighty or ninety. But yeah, I would. I would only take two fifty for it because I love him. But I see no interest in the nativity, so we are going to pass on this. And I'm gonna like put it in a different room because <laughs> I know somebody's gonna. Uh, it's really beautiful, but like, I don't know, you know, I don't know anything about it. All right, we put it in a different room. Okay, I think we're gonna do the last big thing, and I think we'll do another giveaway and then maybe two small items. So we're gonna do the last big thing. So we are gonna do the Miro Star. Um, we are gonna do the Miro Star tree. This thing is huge and it's wild and it's amazing. Uh, so we are gonna do the Miro Star tree. And let's see. I found this, I think it's in a thumbnail actually for a video. Um, I found this outside of Boston. I was walking to a flea market and um, there was just like a sign that was like a state sale this way. And I was like, well, might as well. And it was one of those houses that is like a time capsule. It was so cool. I ended up having to ship all this stuff back to myself from Boston. It was such a mess. Now, when I plug this in, it does not work. When I plug this in, it does not work. However, the cord looks to be in good condition. So it has all its bulbs. What I'm wondering is if one of these bulbs just isn't working. Do you know what I mean? I don't have any spare bulbs to change out to find out. And your girl is not an electric. I am not a gadget person. Like I can't fix gadgets, if that makes sense. So. You're buying it as a display piece. You're not buying it that it lights up. Um, it has that classic Miro star metal foil. And it's got mercury green ornaments in it that are red as well. So it's just kind of a cool, again, it's a tree that's like a different color, um, which is just kind of neat. It measures 19 inches tall with the top bulb. It's really neat and it's a table sitter. So that's what it is, it's a table sitter. So it's a really neat piece. This is probably one of the biggest things that I have today. It's just different. I've, I think I've only seen one person sell it on YouTube. I think I've only seen one. All right, and we are gonna pass on that one. I'm not seeing any interest. It's a, it's a weird one though, I get it. And I want to do another giveaway since you guys have stuck with me. Um, but we'll make that the last thing. But thank you for sticking with me. And we'll do, we'll do two small things and then we'll do the giveaway. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of fun to hang it. I think so. Okay, so we're gonna do two last items, small, small things. And then, um, and then we're gonna do, I actually have two giveaways for the end. Maybe we'll just put them together. We'll just put them together and the next person gets like two things. Um, okay. Let's see, so that one's a no, that was a pass. Okay. I don't know how people do sales where they like, um, where they write stuff. Like I need to see everything. Like I need to see it as I go, if that makes sense. Because if I can't like see it in the document, I get all like flustered. <laughs> so we're gonna do, we're gonna do slay. Yep. And we're gonna do it as a choice. So we're gonna do a choice of two slays that are different, but I think equivalent. We're gonna start them at 14 and they're just Heckin' neat. And I hope you guys like them. I don't know if you're going to, but that's okay. 
So we got two completely different sleigh scenarios, okay? One is a new inbox that you build for display sleigh, and I'll get into it so you can see it. It's got cool interior graphics in the box, and it's kind of got like a Nordic region kind of styling. And then the next one is a napkin holder reindeer sleigh, and these are Vera. So these are Vera napkins. So, you know, like the scarves, like the high-end scarves, these are the napkins. Uh, so they're really cute. They're all full. I'm, I, if I could probably never get these back together, but they're Vera. It's just, it's neat. It's really neat. So I watch, I can probably not get this back together. <laughs> oh, oh, do I have it? Do I have it? So it says, the tag does say made in Taiwan. So I'm guessing this is like an 80s thing. Um, oh, can I not get it back together? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right. But yeah, it's just a cute little like napkin holder thing. And it's just kind of neat. So this um, has one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve napkins. Twelve napkins, I believe. And then this one is the illustration on the box. And so when you open it, you have this fun interior illustration, which I love. I think that's so neat. And it shows you like the ideas. You can make it a card holder. You can make it whatever. And then it has the sleigh and you can put it together. So, and it says patent pending on it, which is super cute too. So I'm not sure what year this is. It's by the national paper company, paper box company. I'm not sure what year. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say this is sixties, but it could be earlier. And I just don't know. Um, the box is, 14 by 8. So it's super cute. <laughs> it's neat, isn't it? it is, yeah, I actually just love the box. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'm not seeing interest. So we are going to move quick because I, I just kind of want to finish up. We're going to pass on that. And then the next choice, um, let's see. The next choice is going to be Tacky Plastic Christmas. This is the stuff I won't give up. This is the stuff that I keep. So you only get one lot, one shot at Tacky Plastic Christmas in the sale because I keep it all. This is what I decorate with. So we got a choice of two. I do you think this one's the little bit newer one? Um, So we got a little sleigh like decoration and then we got a little hanging nightmare. <laughs> All right. So here is the sleigh. It's got a little Santa tucked in there. It's got a little snowman. It's just we. It's just a little, it's like a little pre-made floral decoration. I'm guessing 80s is what I'm thinking with that. Super cute. He's just little. And then this one. It says Merry Christmas and it is double sided and it's a bell and it's those tacky plastic. <laughs> so last, this will be the last item and then we're going to do a giveaway. So these are super fun. What I love about this one is it's such a good shelf sitter. So like if you have a shelf of books, you can just slide this on there because it's nice and narrow and all of a sudden you have like holiday theme on your shelf, right? And then this one, of course, I always hang these from fan cords. So when your fan's going, you get the little bells going, you know? <laughs> the tree does have it all. The tree does have it all. But like I said, Tacky Plastic Christmas is not something I let go of. I keep all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is oh we got gail at 10 well thank you very much let's count it down for you so 10 9 8 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Oh, we got some last minute action. Oh, <laughs> uh, Gail, I see your 12 after the bid end. So first choice of the Tacky Plastic Christmas goes to Colleen. So you can say Slay or Bell, Slay or Bell. Um, and then you will be second choice, Gail. Colleen wants Slay, all right? Colleen gets Slay. And are you interested in Bell? You want to slay? All right. I'm going to get to keep my tacky boss at Christmas. That's like, I love that piece. I do think that other one is actually my favorite piece in the sale, the one I told you it was, but this is a little close runner up. <laughs> All right, sounds good. And then let's do giveaway. Thank you everybody for sticking around. It I know it was a long sale. Um, this is a much bigger sale than I typically do. But like I said, this was two years of sourced items. So I truly appreciate you sticking around. Um, it, it means a lot to me. That's, that's a lot of people still up in those numbers. And I don't take that for granted. I mean, you can be anywhere and you're just, even if I'm your background noise, like that's, I don't know. That's just really, really awesome. So thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> can reach out to you if I'm willing to pay it's 200 for the cookie jar. Yes, you can actually, um, you can go to katherineyoungcreative.com and you can email me. But I'm telling you, I might not even give it up for that much. I just, I like it. I just love him. I think he's cute. <laughs> but if you, if you tell me that it's like your grandma's cookie jar and you haven't found it in 15 years, you might just pry it out of my fingers. Um, but no, I love it. I think it's so cute. And yeah, you can't find them online. They're not available. All right. So last giveaway, we're just going to double it up. Okay, we're just going to double it up. So the last giveaway is open to anyone. And that means you lurkers. And I appreciate everybody who stayed to the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. We're going to do three Santa candles because everybody needs more Santas in our life. And then we're going to do this cute book. Now this book is just for looks. That's all I'm going to tell you. This book is so messed up on the inside. It says 1943 in it, but it is just, it is messed up, but it's cute. She cute, but it's just for looks. It's really cute in display. I had it in my Christmas display last year and I thought it was beautiful. So I'm going to make it work for it. So for the last giveaway, enter Merry Christmas to be entered for the giveaway. This is completely free. It's open to anyone. I will pay the shipping. For the last giveaway, enter Merry Christmas. And you have a chance to win. Now, I don't think I'm going to have a video this week out. Honestly, I'm just not feeling well enough. And I'm dealing with a lot of stuff with my kitties, just getting out of surgery and all that. So I don't think there's going to be a video this week. Um, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. So um, honestly, with um, I, since getting sick after Las Vegas, I have dealt with fatigue on a level that is really hard to explain. And just making it to my full-time job and taking care of my life um, is, is enough for me. Like, it's a lot. So um, I, I don't get as much done. Um, but, I mean, this will take me all weekend to package, you know? So, all right. Thank you, everyone. And, yes, Kitty will feel better, but she she had teeth around. So. Um, so let's do, let's see how many we have. Can we do lucky number 13? I feel like I always say lucky number 13, but I like 13. So let me put in, uh, let's put in stop to make sure that there's no confusion. The leg wasn't bad. When I started, I was terrified the leg today was going to be crazy and it wasn't bad. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
Colleen Cookies for Vintage. You win the last giveaway. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now I gotta put the book giveaway with it too, because it's the same. Um, I, I had it meant to have them separately, but let's just do it for one. Thank you everybody for being here and for supporting me. It means a lot. Um, you know, it's, it, yeah, it, it takes a lot to do the sales, but also it really financially helps because I have had two giant vet bills in the last two months and you know, it, it really does help. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thrift -a -ween stuff will be starting soon. So hopefully I can get content at some point up from thrift -a -ween. If you remember that from past years, it's like Halloween themed, thrifty, crafty stuff. So if that interests you, stick around. And then, um, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you had fun at the sale, thank you guys. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, um, our local antique dealer, Wild Things Antiques, they um, had a main line water break um, underneath their store. It literally like pushed up the floor of their store um, it impacts an amazing couple of really nice people. Oh, little Miss is here. Hold on. Oh, come here. Hi. Hey, baby. Little Miss, she's here. <laughs> this is the blind one. That's why I'm like always surprised if she's over here because she can't, she can't see anything. So, um, so they, they had up to 18 inches of water in their antique store. Um, and it impacted over 40 vendors. If you saw my video where I shopped uh, for um, for uh, the Daisy Jones and the Six, where I shopped that amazing, amazing mid-century antique mall, this is that mall. Um, and they are all in there with, with bags and garbages and all that stuff today, cleaning out. They have no idea if they're even gonna open in that space again. Um, this is their livelihood. Um, there is a GoFundMe, so I'm just gonna put the link in if you if you have any interest supporting them. Uh, Laura Caldwell shops there as well. Um, you know, if if you loved that video, if you thought the store was amazing, they can really use some support right now. Um, Bulldog, vintage Bulldog, she also had a booth there, and she will be throwing out a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff's ruined. Um, so yeah, they had up to 18 inches of water in there. The main line broke under the building and exploded through the floor. And the room that it exploded in was actually a Christmas room, a vintage Christmas room. So it was a lot. So sorry to end it on a downer, but if you wanna look at the GoFundMe, um, these are vintage resellers, small time resellers too. And if you've seen the content featuring this amazing store, maybe support them. So um, yeah, sorry to end it on a downer, but here's little miss, say hi, say hi. <laughs> she can hear my voice so she came looking for me <laughs> and thank you yeah I hope I feel better too I um I just need to mail my back oh no don't worry about it I I will get this all out the next week I um it's it's better for my anxiety level for the packages to go out so than to stay around it's better if I get something done so um, yes, they will go out next week. If you don't hear from me by Wednesday, then I obviously don't have your info. And if you're new to me, right there, my, my website, don't forget. Um, but I should, it's, it's a long weekend, so I should get the stuff out, which is great. So, um, thank you everybody for coming. I truly appreciate you. I do kind of feel like I had the latest Christmas sale there ever was. Um, <laughs> and stay creative, you guys. Okay, now I gotta end the live and still hold the cat. Okay, we got this, we got this. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>